Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Oxygen Not Included Strategy and Tactics Episode 9. So in our last episode, we got our mandatory picnic spot all set up. Uh, this, I argue, I would argue is a lot cheaper and easier to set up than a great hall. Uh, or even a mess hall. Notice we have no tables yet. That's We're not going to be doing that until we absolutely need to. Uh, I, I prefer not to. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's take a look here. I do believe we've got some, uh, some, some work to do here. Uh, also I was, uh, on reflection, I don't want to turn this upper area into a sort of a quasi critter farm. I'm actually going to turn the lower area into a, a quasi critter farm. Um, even though it is ultimately going to be for puffs until we get puffs, we can use it for hatches. No rule against that. So let's get to going here. Uh, we're going to keep them up on the top floor here, the uh, the critters, that is. Um, and we might as well start uh, start doing uh, doing that. So critter drop off. Oop, looks like we need a, a smidge lower. That's fine. We'll put you down one. And let's see, the group actually, yeah, let's do it all down because they, they, the grooming station is a thing that is needed as well. Let's just deconstruct these two. And we will get our goodies flowing here. So, critter drop off, grooming station. Yeah, we don't have no no Drecos yet, so uh, no uh, no shearing to be uh, to be worried about. Um, and then uh, probably get the feeder, um, the critter feeder, like right up here in where the battery is going to go, because uh, I want this this little spot here to be for the incubator. Uh, we're going to be moving the battery. Don't worry. As fun as it is to poop on the battery, we, we have a we have a better spot for it. But either way, that should take care of those idlers. Those dang idlers. Is that the uh, last of the uh, stuff? I think so. So we will uh, deconstruct you, you, and you. And yeah, we got the uh, we got the meat from that. I just want to seal this back off again so it does not become a risk. Boy, everybody's coming down here. Please do not come back up um, too quickly, people. Hmm. We may actually want to use um, ventilation tiles here. We'll see about that. Uh, ventilation tiles are would allow the uh, poo gas to flow around. The problem here... Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm building my ladders one over here. That'll allow people to get in uh, on there. That's more like it. Alright, do we have any uh, germs floating around? Um, inappropriately? No, not really. I think, I think we're good. For the moment, anyway. Um, and actually, we can cancel you and turn you into some ladders as well. Because we want to dig this out. And we might as well line up some insulated tiles down here, just to cap it all off. Be all nice and consistent alike. Uh, what the hey, we'll do airflow tiles here. Just because this area is a little bit pinched. Actually, we can cancel these two. We only really need the airflows here, just so that the, this gas can breathe. Uh, 
That way we're not burning too much metal. Larissa? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we never moved our... Uh, we never moved Cameron down. Whoops. I knew I should have turned the alarms on for that. Alright, fine. I was wondering why Larissa was... Uh, Well, Larissa was, uh, was going solo. Yeah, unfortunately, they need to run, uh, run around. We're, we'll, we're, we'll, uh, fix the door permissions here. Ooh, all right, so that's the last of, um, our ranching taken care of here. Ah, uh, we need refined metal for these. Well, I think I know what our next thing is. It's going to be our next project, and it's not going to be oxygen. <laughs> well, see, here, here's my thing, though. We've got, we've got 5.1 tons of algae, and we've got two algae dis uh, diffusers um, to fill our base with oxygen. We are not in imminent danger. And once we get our electrolyzers built, then we'll be fine. So I'm not actually in huge rush to get those online. We are not about to die a gasping death. Um, so that's, that's kind of my reasoning for doing what I am doing. Now, ultimately what I want to do is I, I want to, hmm, I kind of want my CO2 pit to also be my sort of my machinery hub. Uh, down way down here because we're I mean these things are gonna be spitting out co2 anyway um yeah because that area is gonna be for the electrolyzers that area is gonna be for a special project I have in mind so I think I think we actually have to bite the bullet and and merge our um, merge our um, reservoirs here simply because we want to get rid of all this that or or we could uh, pu start pumping it, but that's going to take time. That's going to take time. And I also don't want to mix up the ethanol here. What's, our, what's the temps? Yeah, this whole biome is nice and chilly, which is good. We want our water flowing into chilly environments here. Hmm. Well, I, I think I know what, to, what the correct answer here is. The correct answer here is to hollow this whole area out and then break these walls so that they merge in here into a nice chilly environment, thus draining this area, freeing it up for our machinery. So we've got a lot of work to do. A lot, a lot of work to do. Um, first things first, yeah, let's just mix those. We are going to deconstruct these. And we're going to want to leave two tiles? Hmm. That sand is going to be problematic. You know what? No, it's not going to be problematic. You know why it's not going to be problematic? Because we're going to we're going to we're going to build some supports here so that sand does not go uh, a fall in here. So we got we got digging over here. We got digging over there. We've got a lot of digging to do. That's going to be our our name of the game right now. Uh, in the meantime, you know what I can do? I can I can do the refine. We can do the um, the the, um, the low key refining here, just as a temporary storehouse. Of course, why I should have canceled that. atmosphere about to say oh you're right on the border between um, poo gas and, and co2 and such there we go that's better Okay, now we can we can we can re deconstruct this and seal off this area. 
that should be fine. I'll do one airflow tile so that um, so that the ga uh, CO2 can seep down there into a bit of a pit. But ultimately, we're going to be approaching all of this from from this angle. Hopefully these two can hold. I might need to reinforce with a few more tiles. I'll, I'll look and see. But yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, let's dig all the way over to here. Um, let's see. Um, are there any uh, rogue, there are no rogue germs here. What do we got here? We've got bleach stone. Ooh. -hoo. That's that's useful stuff right there. Bleach stone? Yeah. Uh, also rust. Rust is a source of um, of, uh, of 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 um, oxygen with the uh, the rust diffuser. Um, so even if we run out of algae, we've got a, we've got supplies. Thibaut doing his thing. I'm going to keep an eye on that tile for water pressure damage. Just because I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that's only uh, 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 only a little over a thousand uh, kilograms, but I don't know if it, it, it may cumulatively keep track of that. So we'll keep an eye on it, just to be sure. Okay, we got our brute force refinement, so now we can get refined metals here. Let's see here. Um, ooh, improved ventilation. Uh, the Atmo sensor. Critical for our up and coming electrolyzer um, uh, research here. Oh, yeah, here's, the, here's something I want to do here just to make sure all this gets dug out. Is um, we're going to. We're going to hold off on digging that just so we don't dig too deep and we can just get the rest of this stuff here. Yeah, I know. No oxygen. This is going to be a bit inefficient uh, just simply because we don't, I mean, we don't have Atmo suits uh, to be able to dig there. That's, that's part of my, my thing here is that we want to get these Atmo suits going. And this is going to be kind of slow going because of, uh, of that. I mean, one thing we could do, possibly, is getting our, um, getting like an oxygen diffuser down here just temporarily. Um, just to, just to give them some stuff to work with. But yeah, you guys are, you guys are working hard. Um, I'll give you that. All right, let's get to um, let's get to the rock crusher here. It is time for some crushing. Because we need some of that rock crushing action to um, get some of our, our other builds going on here, as well as some of our automation stuff going here. Because I'm going to do a, a little a little automated thing. Getting a few extra seeds, but we're kind of past the point where we need seeds sort of desperately here. Well, at least the oxygen's kind of diffusing itself down here. Um, let's, let me see something here. Uh, temperature. So... If we see, this is the abyssalite. This is like natural insulation. This stuff is, is, is as insulating as you can get. Um, but we do have some hot areas over here that will eventually seep over. So what would make sense is a couple of tiles, a couple of insulated tiles here. Um, and you know what? We'll keep that gap up here because we kind of want to. Um, 
Yeah, we kind of want that to happen and then we'll do an insulated tile here just to keep the heat from seeping over here into my water supply. Because again, we're, we're digging down to the cold area. We want to chill that water passively. And actually what I think I can do is I can probably, if I dig this a little bit deeper, uh, which, you know what, let's just get a ladder going here. Um, actually, you know what, I'm, that's dumb. Um, why am I doing the ladder here? Why, not, why don't I just make the ladder where it can just be a, a, a logical continuation? Um, yeah, so because I'm looking out down here, I mean, this whole biome right here is freaking fantastic. Carbon dioxide, uh, bleach stone. Bleach stone is going to be an interesting beast, um, but it's definitely going to be a welcome beast. Because uh, just in case any kind of germs end up in my water, or at least the water that I don't want to have germs in it, that will help purify that. Um, and not to mention, we got the uh, salt, the dash uh, uh, salt vine and the nosh sprout. Granted, they're not doing too, too good, but yeah, these things need to be uh, irrigated with ethanol. Uh, not quite ready to do those just yet, but we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. I think everyone is in good shape at the moment. Oh, what the hey, we may as well, especially since we have um, we have bleach stone. I'm not quite as afraid. Yeah, it makes sense not to force them to do that because they still will exit the correct way. But if it's faster for them to get in from that side, then all the better for them. OK, we've got our rock crusher. Um, so let us, so let us get to, um, yeah, iron ore to iron, copper ore to copper. Let's get iron ore to iron. All right, we'll do four of those. Um, that will give us enough, um, pure iron to, uh, get our, um, our ranch on, our, our, um, incubator that is. We do still need to move this jumbo battery. Actually, you know what? We're going to move the jumbo battery down here. We're going to deconstruct the switch. Um, sorry, Nintendo. And we're going to move the battery down here. We could do a smart battery. We need the refined metal for smart batteries. We'll start, we'll stick with a smart battery for the moment. Actually, I don't need to, I don't need to put it over there. We can just put it over here. Just as a temporary measure. And also, did I put a uh, power line up to the, yes I did. Okay, good. Now that, yeah, that, that powers this liquid pump, which is fine, honestly. All right, yeah, we got our battery back online, which means we can deconstruct this one so to make room for the critter feeder. Nathan going to town on that. Bam, well, oh, bam. All right, so yeah, we're still doing pretty good here. No signs of stress here, for so we don't need to worry about this breaking early. But I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dig down. I'm I'm good to encapsulate this little pocket area. 
uh, go in here. I'm going to keep it away from the ethanol. I don't want to mix my, my drinking water with ethanol. As fun as that sounds, as, as fun as that might be, not so much. All right, let's speed things up a, a bit here. Did I actually ever move um, our friend? I don't actually think I moved him. Nope, I didn't move Cameron. I keep forgetting to. Cameron's going to get up and just go right back to bed. Eh, a little efficiency loss here, but I'd rather... <laughs> back to bed, Cameron. You get to sleep in today. My goof is your uh, long nap, but I don't want I don't want people clogging up the bathrooms with uh, too many visitors at once. That kind of defeats the whole purpose here. All right, now with our um, our rock crusher doing its thing, let's see here: stations, food incubator, not quite ready yet. We, we need somebody to finish that up, and we also need somebody to start uh, hitting that ham those hamster wheels. Yep, off you go, Jetstream. Alright, thank you, Thabo. Thank you. It takes our scientists to do a little running here, but we can get our stuff up and running now. Oh yeah, let me, uh, did I ever set this properly? Yeah, this is, this is fine actually for now. And actually, this is good, because this thing is, it's only 50% efficient in terms of turning metal into refined metal. Um, but the, um, the other 50% of the stuff is actually sand, which will be useful in the water sieve. So it's, it's, it's making itself useful one way or the other. Punch, punch. All right, do we have enough? It sounds like we have enough now. Yeah, it looks like they finished that. So we can get the incubator. Perfect fit. Um, and we need to power this bad, this bad boy. I know we're hooking up all kinds of different things to, to the thing, and we may be in danger of, um, of popping a circuit here. Um, let me, uh, deconstruct power wires down here, because I don't want that thing getting, getting keyed off. Thank you very much, Larissa. Oh yeah, let's get our critter feeder. That's the whole reason for moving the, um... Uh, We may need to move these down, I just realized, which is fine. We can deconstruct all of these. Everybody, sewage party! Woohoo! All right, Atmo sensor get, along with other things. All right, I'm just checking, checking through my stuff. Um, I do actually want to get into some of the uh, automation here. Um, let me see what we got here. Um, duplicate motion sensor, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Clock sensor. Clock sensor's where it's at, my friends. We need to get down to a clock sensor. It's time to automate some stuff. Now that we have access to a form of refined metal. All 
right. So, uh, let's uh, let's let's um, let's uh, incubate that sage hatchling in there, and then let's um, we want hatches hatchlings. Maximum eight critters, please. All right, we've got our incubator going here. Now Hikos should be wrangling up some of the um, some of the other critters wandering around, so we can get them in here. Outside of stable. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Aha! We've made our room too large. Fair enough. I'll uh, I'll remedy that in our next uh, you know, ninety-seven tiles. Ninety-seven tiles. We'll, we'll 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 fix that. We will fix that right now, actually. Let's do the following. We will get our insulated tile on right down here, like that. And that will seal the room off properly. Aww. Eco's doing the, uh, appreciating it. That, that actually helps them hatch faster. So let's seal the sewer off and, and properly insulate it while we're at it. And let's get... Uh, actually, yeah, the... Um, uh, this is going to be a little messy here. But we can... Yeah, we can do that. And then build the ladder up like that. This this will get optimized uh, over time, but let's let's. I just want to make sure there is a critter feeder present. All right. Um. All right, yeah, you guys are still uh, working on our um, our well down here. Thank you very much, guys. Good, good, good. And once they finish this off, then we should be able to start wrangling critters here. Um, and yeah, let's 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 uh, up that priority, please. Hey, some muckroot! There's something we haven't seen in a while. Alright, this part is dug out, so we can keep on digging. Um, and we can start uh, start digging to here, underneath. I don't, I'm not quite ready to start um, marrying this, because I don't want them sloshing around in water until we're quite ready to marry these two here. Malphic rock, eh? Iron rich variation of igneous rock. Okay. I'll take it. Ooh, thank you, Hiko, and uh, thank you, the bow. Oh. You uh, you got a couple of steps to to get on there. Yeah, we should be okay. I'm just going to double check to make sure harvesting that doesn't uproot uh, or otherwise kill your uh, wild plants, because that would kind of defeat the purpose of the park. 
Okay, um, so up here we want this thing. Sage hatchlings, um, uh, you are going to be eating polluted dirt. Um, and sage hatch as well. Polluted dirt, please. Um, and then for our regular hatches here, uh, you guys get to eat sandstone and sedimentary rock. Yeah, sandstone, sedimentary rock, that's good. Yeah, plenty of sandstone to be delivered there. Okay, let's let's see what else we've got going here. We've got plenty of meal wood, plenty of yeah. We're we're over 50k kilocalories here, so let's speed things up while our digging projects are uh, are being done here. Wow, we finally sucked enough water to lower the water level just a little bit here. Uh, I'd say it's nice to be making a dent, but that's actually ultimately a bad thing. Um, we we do need another um, round of this, another round of four, um, to get our um, some of our other goodies on here. Alright, plenty of algae to uh, to deliver here. Now, Hiko, are you, um... Oh yeah, you know what? That's the other... Th that's the thing we're missing, the critter trap. That's the thing we're missing. We need plastic for that one. Fair enough. Well, we'll have our... We'll have our goodies, um... Paku, that's a that's a whole different uh, beast right there. Uh, the Paku that could definitely be a thing if we, especially if we get them in the printing pod, that could absolutely be a thing. All right, so I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna speed things uh, along here. Just keep on digging. Um, are we considered a? Um, that's my automation display. There we go. We are finally a, sta a stable. We could even dig out a few more tiles here just to uh, um, just to make sure that the uh, the you know there's enough room for everybody. Um, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, better, and different. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!